Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this reading, I'm going to be looking into the energies of then versus now. How have their feelings and view of you and the connection changed? There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Lapis Lazuli. Along with these cards. Group two is the Fluorite. along with these cards. And group three is the Rose Quartz, along with these cards. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and fill whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead, which I do recommend using so that you can skip over me shuffling cards in between groups to clear the energy of the group I've just read for and tap into the energy of the group I'm about to read for. So again, I'll give you a minute, please use the timestamps and we'll get into your reading. group one. You chose the Lapis Lazuli along with these cards which I'll start with. This will be the card that represents um, kind of the overall energies of then and this card will represent the overall energies of now. So how they're feeling about you now versus how they were feeling um, when you were last dealing with them or at some point in the past. Um, so as far as the energies of then, we have strength. Um, and this is really tying in for me with this idea um, of this kind of rock that is above this person's head, that in some way they saw you as uh, maybe settling for less than you deserve, that you had some untapped potential, um, that you were either not standing in your most authentic self, you were not operating out of complete self-love, um, you were tolerating a lot less than you deserved, playing very small with your life, um, a bit of intimidation that they may have felt towards you as well in terms of um, all of this potential that they saw that you were able to reach toward, you were able to achieve. Maybe you were even in this process of working towards that, working towards some kind of goal, um, some kind of dream you were trying to bring into the material world that by comparison, they may have felt themselves to be very ill-matched, very ill-equipped to kind of meet you at that higher level, um, a sense of intimidation as far as um, strength that you even displayed 
and maybe carrying a lot of burdens, dealing with a lot of heaviness. They may have also seen you as somebody who had a lot of kind of baggage or drama that you were bringing to the table, and that may have been something which in the past it caused them to kind of run the other way. Whether this is actual or just kind of their perception of things, um, in some way they, they almost may have also seen you as distracted, um, that there were commitments elsewhere, or this perception of you had some other things to work through, other kind of mountains or difficulties or challenges in your life that you needed to focus on to where they wondered almost how they would fit into that equation a sense of almost fearing that there would be some kind of ripple effect from what you were experiencing and going through onto their life, um, that they kind of doubted their ability to have the strength to stand by your side to be a support system for you. They may have also viewed you as very independent, um, tackling a lot of challenges on your own, which again led to it feels like a bit of intimidation, feelings of unworthiness, um, almost like comparing if they were in your shoes that they wouldn't have been able to really rise to these challenges or to move with grace and dignity through what life had been throwing at you in the past. Um, so this can also, this rock here reminds me of like a piece of obsidian. So they may have seen you as very guarded, very protective, very cautious of yourself or needing to step into that energy um, in the past that in some way was almost like a struggle or a process you were needing to rise into on your own, some growth and evolution that needed to take place um, to where it's almost like your attentions were needed elsewhere or this kind of protective energy, this cautious energy about you, um, where it really sort of mirrored for them maybe elements of deception within them, things that they hadn't worked on, um, kind of on the flip side of that idea of um, needing to set maybe better boundaries, settling for less than you deserved, or um, stooping or lowering your standard in some manner. This may have really even kind of mirrored or reflected to them where your discernment, your boundaries, your self-love really highlighted for them kind of their lack of that in their own world, in their own life, um, and that there was this challenge or invitation to really step up in some manner um, in kind of the company that they were keeping or ways in which they themselves are playing small with their life, but there was a bit of intimidation and doubt on their part as far as if they had the strength and the wherewithal to make the changes that were necessary. So in terms of now, um, the evolution of how their feelings may have changed for you, we have release. So they are seeing you as somebody that if you were kind of facing a lot of challenges in the past, they are recognizing that you have overcome a lot. You have shed layers of who you are. You have stepped into more of this energy of surrender, allowing things which have passed their expiration date or versions of yourself, behaviors, mindsets, belief systems, energies that don't serve your highest potential you're now willing to let these things go. They see you in this very um, transitional energy that you may be in this process of almost decluttering your life, decluttering your energy or your space in preparation for new growth, new potential to enter. It's almost this idea of like creating a void or a vacuum within in order to welcome um, something new into your world, into your reality. They see you now in this energy as being very proactive and kind of moving through cycles. Um, um, having come to terms and uh, transcended, again, a lot of difficulties in your outside world, a lot that may have been weighing heavily upon you. Um, that you've changed in a lot of ways, uh, a version of yourself that they were once maybe intimidated by or um, were very judgmental about, you have vacated that. You have stepped beyond that in some manner and they are seeing you almost standing in more of certainty and power, personal growth, um, personal empowerment being major themes as far as they are recognizing what they are able to observe in the material world or what they're picking up energetically as kind of your priorities at this point in time, that you're putting your health, wellness, and well-being at the forefront of your attentions rather than kind of being weighed down and bogged down by drama and low vibrations as may have been the case in the past. Um, so they are seeing you now as somebody who is very growth-minded. Um, you've grown a lot in a lot of ways. You've matured a lot. You've stepped beyond some version of self. And this also really feels to be um, kind of the energy of someone who feels that they may have misjudged you. They may have underestimated your ability to overcome challenges 
challenges that you were faced with. Um, and that now that you have kind of come out the other side or you're moving with grace through that process, it's been a very humbling experience for this person where they're needing to almost shift their perspective, change their mind in some way as far as how they may have underestimated you um, or kind of had judged or misjudged or prejudged your outside circumstances or kind of this perception that they had of who you are. You have you have defied that. You have defied odds, defied the expectations. Um, you're somewhat of an anomaly as far as they are recognizing for other people, maybe that were in your shoes, in your, in your kind of um, circumstances. I'm hearing dire straits maybe in the past that were actual or just perceived by this individual, ways in which you, you've come out the other side or you're proactively trying to move through these things it is it is really reconceptualizing it's opening this person's mind um, to your ability to transmute um, pain into a source of personal empowerment and wisdom um, a lot of stagnancy that they may have recognized or you know just kind of toxicity being stuck in a cycle um, being limited in some manner or very limited in your perception of what you were worthy of what you were deserving of your self-love being a bit stunted um, in some manner that this has since been transcended you've turned a new leaf you've turned a new page you are standing very um, kind of proudly and authentically in your own sort of autonomy here. They may be recognizing you as somebody who has um, created a lot of abundance for yourself, even just vibrationally, or maybe a lot that you've called in, seeds that you have planted and have tended that have really flourished. They're seeing you as somebody who is um, self-protective, but not in a toxic manner, um, in a manner that is best suited to your um, not just survival, but thriving here. They're seeing you and at kind of the precipice, it almost feels like as well, of another form of metamorphosis um, that things, I'm hearing things are only getting better from here. It's it's only going up from here. So they see you as very growth minded. Um, they are seeing you as somebody as well, where if they were kind of questioning if this was a wise investment to open their heart to you, questioning if this would be something where it'd be an equitable partnership or if it may be kind of lopsided where they would need to be almost the one kind of bearing all the weight and responsibility of the connection. They are instead seeing you with these fresh eyes. It's causing them to almost vacate that perspective, that you're very independent. You're very um, self-sustaining in a lot of ways, very kind of, um, you're focusing on that well-being and that self-love and that growth mindset to where they're seeing you now as somebody almost that they should have invested with in the past, or maybe changes that you've, you've taken the initiative to create within yourself, that this situation, this connection, these emotions um, are a worthwhile investment um, and where they may have only seen kind of limitations in the past, they are now viewing you in this situation as having a lot of potential um, to grow and to thrive on into the future. So I'm going to get um, a few tarot cards to dig a little bit deeper into this as well as some more oracle cards um, to just kind of pivot off of this kind of energy of then versus now, um, sort of just whatever comes up and as far as contrast is concerned. Okay, so we have for the energy of then, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, and for the energy of now, we have the King of Cups, which is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, so definitely in the energies of then in the past, there was a bit of uncertainty. Um, it was very unpredictable. It was very unknown. It almost felt like um, it was not necessarily a sure bet or a wise investment to open up their heart to you in the connection. This may have been why they pulled back or held back. Um, it was still very undetermined, a lot that you had on your plate. They may have seen you as somebody very distracted, um, kind of lost in, in, in the woods, kind of caught up in the weeds in some manner. Um, a lot of complications, a lot of obligations, maybe even kind of karmic debt or responsibility cycles you were needing to close out. Um, and that what they were almost viewing as what you brought to the table was just complications for them. 
something that in the past um, they viewed as you know would be almost very costly or very timely to try and help you work through a sense of you needing to really go through some things on your own as well which may have really prompted them to be very hesitant and kind of pull away from the situation in the past um, a sense of almost waiting waiting to find yourself um, kind of being very lost or, or not really being able to find your true north in some capacity maybe even investing in things in connections and mindsets and vibrations and lifestyles and and patterns and habits that were not yielding the greatest benefit like you were almost over giving and receiving very little in return and so as far as you know investing in the connection was concerned they really saw this as something that it was a very unsure prospect with you they weren't really certain as far as the growth potential the yield what that would amount to and so this may have um, caused them to be a little bit hesitant or standoffish or kind of reject you in the past however with the energies of now with this king of cups they see that you have really come into your own in some manner um, you have worked through a lot of emotional difficulties a lot of this kind kind of like these cycles or these things that you were embroiled with um, that you were needing to release and move beyond they view you as somebody who has very successfully done that um, if there was a lot of instability and chaos a lot of drama and complications a lot of things weighing upon you um, or a lot of kind of dense and toxic energies people and circumstances that you were really calling into your experience or were um, allowing into your experience in the past they see you as somebody now who again is very much um, in control of your emotions you've reached this place of serenity and almost emotional self-mastery having broken through a lot of these cycles um, eliminated a lot of these toxic patterns maybe this again energy of almost overgiving codependency in some manner um, that you've really stepped into your own you you are in this place of autonomy being very self-sustaining very self-assured very self-loving at this point in time uh, they see you as somebody who is very adept at kind of releasing situations that do not reciprocate to you um, you put your own interest your your best interest your your highest good as a top priority at this point in time and it's something where emotionally they are seeing you as a very safe investment as a very wise choice um, that well you may have come with a lot of baggage and strings attached and drama whether this was actual or just something that they were kind of perceiving or were very fearful of in some manner the changes that you've made or even just um, changes in terms of like this internal glow up efforts that you are making to stand more in that energy of self-love it is rippling out to this individual where they are recognizing you as somebody that um, they would be safe investing their heart with um, that you you know would not be dependent upon them for that emotional sustenance but you are able to really create that for yourself um, you you forged a life where you have these interests these things which really feed and, and fill you up that are very independent um, of another person it's it's something that is not based in codependency but again something where you are capable now of filling your own cup um, they're also recognizing you as somebody that with what you've released and what you're really building what you're growing what you're calling into your experience um, that emotionally you're in a much better place you're you're in a deeply satisfied place you're you're loving your life or at least are actively working to um, be very excited about opportunities and prospects that may be on the on the horizon for you you're very growth minded you've matured in a lot of ways your priorities have changed um, you've become a lot more grounded a lot more stable a lot more reliable if you were going through a lot of chaos and uncertainty they see you as somebody who has mastered the challenge um, even if there's still some stormy seas and kind of rough waters that you're going through you've cultivated perhaps even a spiritual practice a meditative practice some kind of perspective and maturation within yourself to where you're in date you're able to endure um, kind of the ebb and flow of what life presents to you so in terms of partnership they're seeing you as somebody that would be um, an adequate partner somebody that they again they wouldn't have to carry um, but that it would be very much a balanced and reciprocal situation kind of the both of you supporting one another um, through kind of whatever life would throw it in at your at either of you or at both of you or at the situation 
somebody that they would want by their side. Um, they're seeing you as having stepped into a degree of wisdom. You're trusting your intuition more, trusting those intuitive hits, um, that inner knowing rather than kind of getting um, stuck into entanglements or situations out of just, uh, you know, maybe people you've known for a long time and it's just kind of been a never ending cycle of stuck in kind of the chaos. You've detached from a lot of those situations. You're setting up healthy boundaries and barriers, um, you know, filling your own cup first rather than kind of giving to the point of exhaustion or depletion to others. Um, this is something that they really respect and admire about you. They're seeing you as somebody that um, is that very uh, proactive and assertive and self-loving version of yourself that they um, had hoped would you would rise into in the past. They may not have seen that that would be anything that would, would happen very quickly. It may have been very difficult, um, something that they almost had felt, you know, again, you needed to work through some things on your own uh, in order to potentially reach that place. But in the energy of now, they are seeing that you have you have had this major glow up. You have almost reached the end of uh, maybe a series of painful cycles here. You closed out some major chapter um, and you're in you're in a new space. You're walking forward into your future with a lot more confidence and self-assurance, um, self-trust, maybe keeping your own counsel as opposed to, um, you know, kind of relying upon the opinions or feedback or, um, you know, sort of like the energies of other people rather than looking for outside confirmations and signs. You're trusting that inner knowing um, using that heart light as your compass moving forward. And so this is something that, um, again, they're seeing very positive growth and progress in terms of um, who you are, who you've grown into as an individual, and in terms of the potential of this connection, that in the past, if it might have been very complicated, tangled, and sort of weighted down, there's this energy of um, assurance at this point in time. Again, growth potential that they really see um, if you would be open to reinvesting with them again or if they had like made the choice or were going to make the choice in the future to sort of open up towards you. Um, so let's see what else as far as then versus now. So for the energy of then, we have child. So this is definitely tying in again to this idea of that you had a lot of maturing to do, a lot of inner child wounds that you may have been harboring or holding on to that may have caused you to um, kind of lower your standards, settle for less than you deserve, that in some way you weren't reaching for your fullest potential. You weren't able to recognize that. You weren't standing in that personal power. You may have been very codependent, dependent on other people, giving your energy and your power away. Um, whether this was actual or it is just how they perceived you, they almost saw that um, to continue in this connection, to continue investing in this, um, that there was growth and, um, and maturing and things you needed to work through that could only really be done on your own that in the past um, you may have almost been very reliant upon this person for like emotional satisfaction, validation in some manner, um, looking to outside sources for that validation, feeding into a lot of these unconscious wounds, unhealed things that were kind of manifesting in different dynamics, um, maybe some struggles with your family or with your upbringing or again these inner child wounds that really needed to be um, dealt with, that you were operating out of that kind of wounded child energy um, and something which, you know, they, they almost felt that you weren't um, someone that they could necessarily partner with to have a mature relationship, that there were things you needed to go through, some cycle of evolution that needed to happen. Um, and that in the past, it was just uh, your roads were needing to diverge in other directions so that there was some growth that could take place. Uh, with the energy of now, though, we have the ship, and this is bringing up the um, the phrase master and commander. So they really see you as somebody who has um, marvelously overcome the challenges that you faced. Again, this idea of the water and kind of the rough seas, and you are now in a place of um, kind of this higher wisdom and this perspective. Your challenges have served you very well. Um, you have grown into this individual, into this energy that is able to really um, navigate towards your highest good. They see you as some somebody headed in a very positive and healthy direction 
They see you as somebody who is very um, open to adventure, who is um, very open to the blessings and gifts um, that life has to present to you, that even through challenges, you have a level head on your shoulders. Um, you have achieved, again, this, this element of self-mastery. You have gone down and done substantial work on that inner child wounding uh, to release those patterns, to kind of um, get rid of those anchors that were holding you in place, keeping you very stuck and fixed in particular cycles or operating from this place of wounding. You really have liberated yourself in a lot of ways um, and that you are headed towards um, a very beautiful future for yourself. This is something where in the past, if they had almost felt that to invest in the connection would have kept them stunted or stuck, in some manner they are now perceiving you and this connection as something which um, is more in alignment with what they are imagining for themselves for a future. With you, they see movement, they see evolution, they see growth, um, they see exploration and expansion beyond what they had perceived of you in the past and what they had almost thought um, you were capable of or interested in um, or, you know, were, were really, again, kind of living up to that, that highest potential, something that needed to change within you that you have now, you have successfully done this. You are navigating life in a much more um, fluid manner. You are much more in a state of flow and receptivity, um, less in kind of uh, a state of almost like entitlement or being very fixed um, on maybe grievances of the past against cycles and, and things that you are needing to work through. You've liberated yourself um, and you are now kind of setting course in many ways for a different type of future. You're wanting more. You have become more and you are in almost receptivity mode to, to really um, take more bounty and treasure into your experience experience than you were equipped to do in the past. So I'm going to get some messages um, from their higher self now and see what does this person want you to know at this point in time. Okay, and they say, please forgive me. So this is really tying into this idea that they underestimated you in some manner. They were maybe judging you or focusing only too, you know, too much on sort of the complications of what was going on in your life in the past. Um, what they saw as kind of a limited potential or ways in which they may have been very judgmental about the company you were keeping, um, the level of growth and ascension work that you've done to sort of heal the, the wounded inner child um, that they have had to almost eat their words in a sense. Um, you have really defied expectations. You have proven them wrong in a very um, pleasant manner. And so this is somebody who, um, you know, they may be very humbled by this experience, almost feeling very um, shameful or, or guilty about the ways in which they perceived you or judged you um, based on appearances, based on kind of their perceptions, whatever you were working through, whatever kind of karma or circumstances that the universe had presented you with, um, knots you were tangled in, that you were tasked um, for your own growth and evolution of kind of figuring your way out of puzzling your way through and now that you have done that that you have you have freed yourself you have unbound yourself from these things um, this person is really forced to 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 reevaluate again a very humbling experience where now this has maybe triggered them to go within and to assess the ways in which they have been very um, almost prejudicial against you judging uh, kind of the book by its cover uh, or focusing only on obstacles and areas within yourself that were in need of growth and maturation which may have been sort of a mechanism to even deflect from areas within themselves that are very mirrored in these circumstances, ways in which they have unhealed inner child wounds. They are wrapped up in toxicity. They are not living up to their fullest potential. You've now course corrected. And so it's almost like the ball's back in their court at this point in time, as far as um, what do they still need to do? How can they look in the mirror and see all of these things that they'd projected upon you that you have now freed yourself from or you have transcended um, that they themselves have not dealt with and are needing to address. 
They also say, I feel like I can't give you what you need. So this is that confirmation of the idea that they have again been humbled by your glow up, by your transformation, by the ways in which you are defying their expectations of you, others' expectations of you based on the circumstance or just how people were um, kind of perceiving what was going on in your life previously. And um, it's now up to this person. Your change has almost highlighted for them um, ways in which they have been holding themselves back. So at this point in time, in order to really meet you and match you at this level of, of self-mastery, that King of Cups, that's the, that's the final card in that minor arcana um, suit of cups. And so it's like you've reached the end of a particular stage. You've closed out a very major cycle, um, something that was holding you back on an emotional level. And it's almost like this person is now forced to sort of look at themselves and see what have they been procrastinating on with that seven of pentacles um you know still operating in kind of that energy of the child um on their part now it's now it's their turn to really um turn that gaze inward and see what are some of the ways that they have maybe just been deflecting this work within themselves avoiding kind of that elephant in the room with that giant rock hanging over that guy's head and strength um, the you know needing the courage to kind of face some of these challenges and things that they're needing to overcome within themselves very inspired by you and the work that you've done but also very intimidated as well and they also say you are the person of my dreams so you really have um, blossomed into somebody that they want by their side you you are this um, kind of picture at this point in time of what they view as the kind of ideal or perfect partner the type of the type of individual who could um, really support them in moving toward their dreams and goals somebody who would be receptive to um, support in a, in a variety of ways without being necessarily completely dependent upon that they see you as very self-sustaining which it feels like is an important quality for this person they may really value their independence fear being tied down or, or having um, you know people being kind of codependent or emotionally dependent upon them um, but it's something to where you're almost this dream that is now out of reach. Now they need to kind of look inside and do the work and figure out, you know, where are they lacking? It's almost like you've surpassed their expectations. And so they're at this point in time of, of really recognizing that it's a game of catch up at this point. And they also say, I was pretending to be someone else. So this person could have been walking around with a very inflated ego, very judgmental, um, you know, really kind of judging you based on um, how they were kind of estimating the quality of your lifestyle, the company you were keeping, challenges you were faced with or were endeavoring to overcome. Um, somebody who may have been operating in kind of this energy of bravado where it was just a mask for a very, um, frightened wounded child within them that they were trying to overcompensate from um, despite the challenges you faced and the ways in which you've overcome these things it is now um, almost this indicator or nudge to this individual that it is time to kind of do that work within themselves as well um, that to come forward to you or to be able to be that adequate match for you at this point in time um, it requires creating more substance more growth more maturation on their part inside that the mask that they were holding in place will not sustain them in this energy that you have really stepped into and have embodied. So I'm going to get um, one of these Mother Mary cards for some guidance and then I'll close it out with some initials for you. Okay, so this is the artwork on the card. And the message is Our Lady of Comfort. Even though you may not see me, I am holding your hand. Even though you may not hear me, I am speaking through your heart. I am never far away from you. I am by your side with love and guidance and protection always. You are my own. I could not bear to be apart from you. Receive my message of comfort and peace now. All shall be well. 
So this is really encouraging you to continue to press forward with your um, journey of person, personal growth um, and expansion. You have done a beautiful job in closing out cycles, in defying the expectations um, and kind of the opinions and assessments of this individual, other individuals um, in your world, in your reality, people that even just kind of knew of you from afar, who heard rumors and stories and um, for all intents and purposes, just had a, a very finite opinion of kind of what um, what you would amount to, what your what your life would be. People full of opinions um, that had not walked in your shoes for even a moment. Um, and so this is, you know, this assurance here that you are doing everything you need to do, that your struggles, what you have been through, it has served to strengthen you, um, that you are protected on this journey and encouraged to continue to unfold, continue to um, seek within yourself all the limitations and barriers to that actualization of your greatest potential, trust in your ability to ride the storms of life um, and to find your way, to sail your way to those calm waters. You've been through so much and you can continue to, um, you know, kind of ebb and flow with whatever life presents to you. Um, you're not alone in this process. And this also feels to have this additional message from this person's higher self um, that they are congratulating you. That again, they've had to eat their words um, as much as in the 3D sense, they may have really abandoned you, stepped away from the connection, prejudged or misjudged you um, from the higher self. They were always um, with you. They were always kind of watching hoping that you would rise into that greatest potential, hoping that you would step into that most loving version of self. And while they may be limited or, or have some work they now need to do on themselves in a material sense, from the higher self, they are really congratulating you um, as far as all the hard work that you have done to unearth that best version of yourself and to fearlessly and courageously continue to strive to shine that forth um, in all ways. So I'm going to get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name. If you are this person, or it could spell something out. Just whatever resonates for you. I've got I, D, L, U, S, N J F and W so those are your messages group one I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading if you like the video please give it a thumbs up comment subscribe or share if you'd like a personal reading I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings written readings and channeled letters turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase I also sell handmade jewelry dream catchers and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well and I'm running a sale in my Etsy shop now through the end of the month of February. Everything's marked down 15%, so if you've had your eye on anything, now's a great time to act upon that as I don't often run sales. I've also launched a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Lady of the Dawn Tarot, and there's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format there is a little different from here. I do pick a cards as well as general energy check-ins, but the subject matters that I cover are related to spirituality, wellness, ascension, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out, and I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
my group two. I chose the fluorite along with these cards. So this will be the energy of how they were viewing you then, and this will be the energy um, of now. So the energy of then, how they were viewing you in the past is assertiveness. Um, so this is really giving me this vibration here with kind of this imagery of an eclipse that in some way um, you were almost dimming your light to fit in. Um, they may have felt that there was something that you were holding back, um, something that uh, you were almost a little too passive or placating for their tastes, uh, something where you may have just really been kind of um, agreeing with them to keep the peace, sort of molding yourself into who you imagined that they wanted to you to be. They may have seen you as kind of like a people pleaser, somebody who wasn't really standing in their full authenticity, somebody who was kind of systematically giving their power away, or um, even really recognizing you as an empath who had a tendency to attract and participate in a lot of narcissistic dynamics. This may have been something which um, kind of reminded them, it almost feels like it mirrors them and sort of a struggle that they had been going through to extract themselves and to recognize and to disconnect from narcissistic people in their lives, family, friends, romance. Um, to where it almost feels very triggering. It felt very triggering for them in the past, kind of that similarity of struggles that you were going through, this process of trying to almost decipher and discern behind the masks that people present um, that really highlighted for this person ways in which they too were giving away their power, that you almost highlighted the work they needed to do within themselves, that they either were shying away from or kind of in denial of within themselves, um, almost this very similar energy, parts of themselves that they were not wanting to admit, still very embroiled in kind of those people-pleasing relationships by their own right, um, relationships that they were very hesitant to kind of let go of you really serve to, to present that, to mirror that, the importance um, of kind of transcending these things or um, on the other side, kind of the detriment of that, the expense of that um, in terms of self-esteem and authenticity and energetically speaking. And it was almost like a hard truth or a recognition that they did not want to, to acknowledge. They did not want to, um, to understand or to, to really step into. They may have also seen you as somebody who was very opinionated, um, very kind of um, self-assured or headstrong in a way that they feared that to continue in the connection or to link up with you, in some way you would eclipse their light. You would almost outshine them in a certain manner. Um, a fear of almost dissolving behind you, that you had such a powerful force or presence, even if this is something like an untapped potential, like light within you that you were trying to almost dim down to fit in, this person could see and perceive that. And there was almost this sense of um, one day when you came out of hiding, when you really cracked forth out of this cocoon and allowed your light to shine the fullest, where would their place be in everything? Almost a sense of um, that they feared that the two of you were only compatible while you were operating in this place of wounded, shadowy darkness. That once you were to step into that place of wholeness, um, you would almost see them for kind of um, all the deficiencies that they held inside, that in some way you would no longer need them, that the connection would no longer be as fulfilling. And so it almost feels like the energy of trying to um, kind of extinguish the situation before they themselves themselves could be left. Um, so you really highlighted for this person almost um, this sense of powerlessness within them, not even through anything that you may have done. You may be kind of a passive person even, but it's this light. It's what hides behind that, what dwells within you that they were able to perceive that was very intimidating for them. They were very fearful almost of that time when you stepped into that place of authority, when you took your power back, when you were very 
assertive, very um, assured, moving towards certain goals in a very direct manner, um, that it was almost easier to just kind of um, pull away and sort of watch from the shadows, watch from afar rather than risk um, getting kind of absorbed into this, this light that you held inside. Um, so in terms of the energies of now, uh, we have wisdom. So they are seeing you as somebody who is very deeply intuitive, um, somebody who may currently be in this process of kind of seeking out and finding this inner strength, this light that has been almost hidden or obscured in the depths of your shadow. They see you as somebody who is very brave, somebody who has learned from their experience, somebody who is um, kind of digging beneath the masks and facades, maybe having recognized this, um, you know, with this watery scene here, um, this kind of energy of being an empath um, and what that means in terms of the types of vibrations and people and experiences that your very unique energy signature draws towards you. Um, that you are more in this energy now of kind of surrender, the state of flow, um, the state of really moving beyond in some manner, um, almost like parasitic relationships or um, energies that you had really attracted into yourself or had kind of a, a tendency to participate with, ways in which you were really dimming your light to fit in that even if you're not fully in that that energy of, of assertiveness and standing in your most authentic truth you are taking the steps to kind of um, find the root cause of these things where did this tendency and behavior stem from um, what do you need to do to kind of come to terms with and release yourself from that kind of dynamic you're searching within for answers. You found a lot of wisdom. A lot is starting to really add up and make sense as far as patterns in your life. Um, a particular, almost like ro rotating cast of characters in your life that share this same kind of archetype. Um, people that are very drawn to your light and then almost um, are, are kind of feeding off of that, where you're almost overgiving to the point of depletion within yourself. Um, they see you now as somebody who's really kind of become very proactive. You, you have learned from that. You're, you're quicker to kind of disconnect yourself, to trust um, in this intuition within that is sort of pointing you in the direction of um, filling your own cup, your own kind of emotional needs and well-being are, are priority at this point in time. You've grown and you've learned a lot from some cycles, um, you know, searching that kind of internal landscape for that sort of hidden treasure in the experiences that you've had and also in this deeply um, empathic quality about yourself rather than being very kind of overwhelmed and sort of stunting your own light, hiding away, trying to dim um, to fit in or, or feeling that, you know, your only purpose is to just kind of give um, so that others may sort of shine brighter in their, in their world, in their life. You really have transcended all of that. You're going in for, for your answers. You've come up with a lot of new solutions, ways to even kind of protect yourself energetically. They see you as somebody who is very much um, invested in a healing path. You are committed to kind of breaking free from and understanding the nature of your own shadow wounds and cycles in your life. So they see you as somebody who may be also in a very solitary energy at this point. You're, you're in this place of metamorphosis. You're still searching, um, but you're finding almost these little nuggets of wisdom along the way. Um, and that at a certain point, then they're seeing whatever you're engaged in at this point in time in your own sort of like self-healing and ascension or awakening journey. Um, it's something which is really serving you right now. The state you are at in your life and in your process is to your is to your benefit. This is almost a wise decision to try and get to the root, get to the bottom of some of these um, kind of reoccurring issues or almost um, elusive sort of energetic issues that you've had maybe in your in your life um, but that you're on almost this solo mission right now you're needing to find some kind of truth some kind of explanation they're seeing you also as a wisdom keeper something where um, they could learn a lot through your process again it's like this mirrored energy 
where these answers may have been very evasive to them. They may have not wanted to do this work. They're seeing you as somebody very courageous, a lot of endurance, um, that this has been a wise decision rather than just to continue to perpetuate in these cycles to try and break through, try and find the solution, try and find a way forward from that. And they're looking to you as kind of like a source of wisdom and guidance. So they may be watching you from afar. Um, if you have some kind of social media presence or platform, they're learning a lot from that. Um, even just what they're gleaning energetically from you and kind of this this element of detaching moving beyond there's movement that's happening here in the emotional um, body and it is really shifting and churning things for them as well it is coaxing them into their own sort of depths in their own kind of private journey as far as um, needing to kind of decipher and to discern tendencies and patterns that may have been a little bit deeply embedded within the shadow so I'm going to get um, a few tarot cards and some oracle cards to clarify a little bit more about this energy of then versus now. Okay, so for then we have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. So this really confirms this idea of a lot of toxicity, a lot of cycles that they were seeing you in the past as really being stuck in. This could be um, ways in which you were really dimming your light to fit in. Um, people that you were that were gravitating towards you or that you were gravitating toward that were very much um, limiting or draining, not reciprocal connections. That was how they viewed you as kind of operating from a lot of wounding, a lot of shadow, um, you know, avoiding a lot of this healing work, um, you know, just kind of focused on distraction, numbing out addictions, may have been a factor in the past. They saw you almost as just um, swimming in this toxicity, but it very much mirrored them. You very much were resonant in your vibration in terms of that, um, that density, that darkness feeling very bound and obligated um, to almost people-pleasing in some manner. Um, very fear-based energies here. Fearful of change, fear of upsetting the balance, um, fear of incurring the wrath of others who were in your life should you set these healthy boundaries and barriers and move in your own direction. Um, so they felt very much like a companion with you, very comfortable with you, um, seeing in you, mirrored in you, darkness with in themselves that they had not addressed up to this point in time, which may have made them very fearful, almost like fearful of their own reflection in a way which could have caused them to sort of pull back and retreat or want to sort of um, extinguish or almost demonize this connection, um, you or these energies in some manner. Because behind all of that, on the other side of all of this darkness, is this profound um, light, this profound ability to transform and to step into the best version of self um, that they were not ready to do. They saw your ability to do that, and it was something they almost um, were afraid to recognize within themselves, almost that it felt easier to project everything you needed to do differently um, rather than kind of turn and look at themselves and how that might have been mirrored and was sort of um, almost like a pattern within themselves as well. And in terms of the energy of now, we have the Nine of Cups. Um, so this is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So this is a very beautiful transition, a transformation that has happened. They see you now as somebody who is investing in your own well-being, in your own emotional health, um, that you are setting healthy boundaries. You are taking back your power. You are holding energy in reserve for yourself rather than just depleting um, you're a lot more discretionary as far as who you let into your inner sanctum. Um, if you get to the point where you are feeling or sensing that there is um, an imbalance in the reciprocity and exchange, this is the energy of someone who's quick to cut off, quick to extract, quick to disinvite somebody into their world and reality. Um, they see you moving in the direction of um, personal well-being, contentment, and satisfaction. It may be something that, again, this energy of the nine, you're not quite at that 10 yet. You're not quite at that sort of um, complete 
contentment in the emotional sense, but you're getting there. You've made major strides in a very positive direction to take back your power um, from people, places, situations, tendencies, and patterns um, that have been very draining or depleting of you. Um, they see you as investing in your own health and wellness, which is very inspirational for them as well. Um, this is the energy of being this way shower. You've become very proactive um, and it is definitely an encouragement to them. They're learning a lot from you and what they are able to um, see and decipher in the material world or even what they're able to pick up energetically as far as steps they are needing to take to extract themselves, to step out of the energy of fear into the energy of fearless self-love, which is what they see you vibrating at and prioritizing at this point in time. So in terms of the connection, um, in the past, they may have seen it as very toxic, very limited, um, something that was not in either of your best interests. Now, in the energy that you have really stepped into, they're seeing you as somebody who is more of a healthy person. You've cultivated this vibration within yourself. However, this is a lone figure here. So again, it's, it's kind of highlighting that now they need to do the work themselves. Um, you're almost moving forward. You're being very fearless. You've achieved and accomplished a lot in terms of this like knowledge and awareness of some of your tendencies and patterns. Um, you've taken a lot of your power back from circumstances and situations. You're a lot more discerning, um, but it almost feels that they are now invited to sort of take follow suit um, in their own life, in their own world, but they're not quite there with you yet. So let me get a few more um, to dig a little bit deeper and then I'll get into some higher self messages from this person. Okay, so for the energy of then, we have house. So this can really tie into some toxic family dynamics, things to do with upbringing, structures, um, you know, living situations, kind of um, how you are taking care of your your temple in terms of your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, um, you know, your spiritual well-being, that it almost is bringing to mind the idea of like a temple in ruins, um, that you weren't prioritizing yourself. You were kind of putting your own needs on hold in order to really sustain and cater to what others expected of you whether that was kind of dimming yourself down to fit in um, so that others could kind of feed into their own toxicity um, and their own kind of uh, ideas of, of superiority in some manner, um, or that this was almost, you were just remaining very limited, very fixed in place, not even things that were necessarily your fault, but almost this idea of like um, mimicking something that you were raised in, some kind of toxic environment or situation that this was playing out um, in your life as well, that in the past they saw you very um, tethered to certain, almost like a legacy or a lineage, some kind of generational pattern, something that was very um, entrenched, very unconscious, almost like what you had needed to adapt to survive in your particular environment, um, what you had been kind of conditioned to believe was the way that you should be, that you should be showing up, what was expected of you, um, you know, maybe what you needed to do to survive in your environment or, or in your upbringing growing up, um, that this was something that was really keeping you very bound and stuck. This is also a very materialistic energy right here. So they almost in the past were seeing you as somebody who was very, um, you know, chained to a particular structure that you had almost um, neglected or forfeited um, sort of the, the spiritual element of self that you were very, you know, again, just kind of self-contained, like a light in a bell jar almost, um, and that there were things that were needing to be almost tended, repaired, or, or cultivated on many different levels in your physical surroundings, in terms of your physical health and well-being, maybe even just the entertaining of um, toxic or draining or narcissistic narcissistic relationships or circumstances, that it was taking a toll on your physical health, on your well-being, um, on your spiritual vibrance. It was almost like this, um, again, like a house in ruins, like it was it was really dimming your shine. It was really draining your life force in some manner, um, but that there was a sense of duty or obligation, that it was just um, almost like too much to try and deal with, that you were a bit overwhelmed by all of this, and that it really mirrored for this person in a way that was very triggering. 
elements about their own upbringing, these learned behaviors and patterns, um, things that they had really been conditioned or taught to do in order to fit or blend in with their particular surroundings or upbringings that they were needing to break free from, that were just sort of operating as these unconscious kind of triggers and programming, things they hadn't dealt with within themselves. Um, this idea of house is really bringing forth the kind of the image of like a link in a chain. You each were sort of a link in these chains of, of your particular bloodline or your, your heritage that had been forged generation after generation, um, that they saw you and themselves as a byproduct, as kind of being the, the breaker of those chains, the liberator, um, the one to sort of move in another direction, and that that was a lot of pressure. It was very frightening. Um, it was very, you know, the, that prospect of kind of breaking free and the work that that would take, sort of blazing one's own trail, leaving that home base, that comfort, that security of like known patterns, the familiarity of toxicity, um, that it was both very alluring and at the same time terrifying. Um, setting out into that unknown territory. And as far as the energy of now, we have gentlemen. So this is really talking about somebody who is very autonomous. Um, they see you as having stepped very assertively into your own power, that you have done so with diplomacy and with grace, with tact. Um, you have moved away from a version of yourself that you may have um, sort of held your tongue or not not spoken your um, personal truth. You might have let a lot slide out of a fear of almost, um, you know, rocking the boat or upsetting the status quo in some manner. But at this point in time, it's almost like your silence is your power. You are very discerning with who you invest your time and energy with. There's a certain code of conduct that is required as far as reciprocity. You are um, very proactive in making the changes that need to be made for your own highest good, for your own well-being. You are prioritizing that. You are standing more in your personal power than you had in the past. Um, you're very kind and diplomatic about that. This is not somebody who's operating out of um, you know, toxicity and like a petty energy. This is simply simply just a discontinuation of anything that does not um, resonate with kind of uh, the vibration of wellness that you are actively cultivating within yourself. Um, you encourage this person to become very proactive rather than passively sort of sitting around and just um, stewing and cycling in those, in those same kind of patterns. The example that you are setting of taking action, forging your own path, forging your own trail, breaking off in some way from what had been established um, in order to kind of create something new for yourself, creating a new version of you, reintroducing the world and those around you to this new and improved version. Uh, rewriting the rules, increasing your standards of what is allowed and what will not be tolerated in your existence. All of that is really, um, you are leading by example and this person is looking to you as this source of inspiration, ways in which they may need to start taking personal responsibility. It feels in terms of the connection, they're still a bit triggered by that. There's still a lot of fear. It feels that they may almost be waiting for you to reach that 10th cup to find that final solution to come up from this energy of kind of the depths of the sea here with this wisdom card um, but that they are taking note they are um, observing they are watching they are seeing growth potential in you that is helping them to kind of map out a course of action um, for themselves. And in terms of the connection in general, this is the idea of kind of moving into a fresh start, moving into um, independence from whatever has taken place between you in the past so that something new can be created. But it feels that they may still be in this in this energy of needing to keep their, keep their own counsel at this point in time. This is just an observational energy. This is not someone who, you know, feels necessary necessarily that they have all the facts yet. They still feel that you are um, in this process of kind of developing, developing these kind of standards, this version of yourself. Um, and, and so until you come to this place of being very solidified in that, very established in that in your own right, it feels like they will continue to almost just observe from afar before considering taking any kind of action towards you. But it is also very contingent on this process of them needing to really extract and work 
work through those same types of cycles that you have really been taking the initiative um, to break free from as far as a lifestyle change and just a change in kind of where you are investing your energy and time. So I'm going to get some messages from their higher self now and see what does this person want you to know. Okay, and they say, you are the love of my life. Um, so this could have been very intimidating for them. Uh, this potential that they recognized within you um, almost immediately upon meeting you that this connection, what might develop from this, the growth that could be achieved individually and together um, is something that is beyond their expectation and their idea of what was possible in love and partnerships. They hold a lot of love for you and as much as they may be silent at this point in time, or are still fixed in some um, toxic patterns within themselves, needing to grow, needing to evolve, needing to break away from certain things. Um, they still hold a lot of love for you inside. Um, you have profoundly affected them, triggered them in the best way possible. And while they may be operating in kind of this energy of agitation, there's also this curiosity, this sense of you being this way shower. Um, as you kind of forge the path to this greater love of self, you have help to show them the way um, to really follow suit in their own manner. And we also have twin flame. Um, so that really confirms that idea of a mirrored energy, the two of you um, being almost like the this soul copy of one another, a very similar soul blueprint, a very similar background and upbringing, similar things that you are really being um, tasked to overcome. Again, a deeply triggering, activating connection. This person feels very drawn back towards you. Your growth, your actualization of potential inspires this person's growth, their actualization of potential. Um, it feels that you are walking parallel paths at this point in time, but they they have these um, these feelings of like a greater sim a greater importance, a greater um, symbolism by what has been experienced with you up to this point in time, a sense that your story is not over despite the way that those paths may have diverged. There's a sense of being um, called home to themselves very profoundly at this point in time, which they feel in some way is like the opening to um, coming home to you in a, in a healthier and higher vibration as well. And they also say, I need time. Um, so again, a lot of cycles, toxicity, patterns that they are needing to acknowledge, needing to break away from, um, that they may still real, really still be stuck in place with. They're looking to you as an example, even just perceiving you energetically. Your growth and evolution triggers something within them. It sends a beacon in their direction that urges them forward, that causes them to um, need to almost look at these things, these limitations within themselves. As you liberate yourself, you encourage them to do the same, but they are still a work in progress. Um, again, it almost feels that they're waiting for you to kind of achieve that 10th cup in some manner, something that they will see or perceive that could be almost that, that final piece of the puzzle um, that puts them in a place of assurance to begin this process or to um, participate participate in a more consistent manner with this process in their own life. And we also have jealous and possessive. So another confirmation of kind of this shadowy energy that they are still stuck in. This person is still very much tied to that devil energy and however that is manifesting um, internally or externally in their world. Um, they want to grow towards you. They want to change. They want to evolve. Despite what has happened in the past between you, they still feel very tied to you, very protective of you. Um, it's almost motivating them to sort of pick up the pace and to to start to do this work. The more you grow, the, the deeper you dive, the more wisdom you gain, the more um, kind of wellness that you prioritize within yourself, the more that you step into and embody that self-loving vibration. They almost feel like they're being left behind and it's creating the sense of panic and urgency within them. Um, it's that fire that is really activating them to start to make the changes, make the difficult decisions, break free from a lot of these patterns um, and habits that they had at one point in time really just projected upon you, but that were actually um, mirrored as existing within themselves, that they've had their eyes shut to that mirror, but they are really starting to, to open up to that more and more. 
to be inspired by your example and to want to really um, follow suit with you in that, that journey of exploration and expansion. So I'm going to close this out with um, one of these Mother Mary cards for guidance, and then I'll get some initials as well. Okay, so this is the illustration on the card. And the message is, Our Lady of the Sacred Hearth. There are times when growth must happen so that you can continue your journey home. For you, beloved, this is such a time. Remember, you are not only being guided away from what has been, but also toward a new manifestation blessed by Our Lady. This is a secret gift soon to be recognized, and it is instrumental in manifesting your complete spiritual fulfillment. So this is really beautiful guidance here to continue in this process of releasing patterns, releasing toxicity, um, taking those courageous steps beyond limiting beliefs, um, being very discerning with who you let into your energy, who you let into your world, into your life, being very proactive as far as eliminating anything that is not serving your highest good, that is not reciprocal, um, that brings more toxicity, then it contributes a sense of wellness to you. Um, through this process of growth and evolution, this other person is very much aware of this. They are tied to this in some manner, regardless of kind of what the outcome is between the two of you and the material world in the future. It's something that at the soul level, um, you are you both have this contract to almost help each other on this process, on this journey. Your growth and evolution inspires their growth and evolution. Um, so continuing to move forward, you're heading in a very beautiful direction. Um, the changes that you have made at this point in time and continue to make going forward, the directions you are being called or pulled in, these are for your highest good. And a lot of that may again involve release, breaking away, discontinuing, disconnecting, cutting off. But from that place of void and vacancy that is created within your life, you invite um, abundance to enter. You're making space for that. Um, replacing the old with the new, replacing the toxic with the well. Um, and so it's something that you're very much encouraged to do that. You're, you're headed in the right direction. Um, your change is having an effect upon this person as well. It is inspiring them. Everybody has their own free will to get with the program and make changes or to continue to remain stuck in toxicity and patterns. Um, the important thing is that you keep your focus on the horizon. Keep moving toward that sense of wellness and well-being within yourself and trust that in the time and manner that which is resonant with your vibration that you are striving for and cultivating will rise to meet you. So I'm going to get a few initials and this can be a first, middle, or last name if you are this person or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got I, E, J, C, P, R, S, D, Z, W, and X. So those are your messages group two. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. 
I'm also running a sale in my Etsy shop now through the end of the month of February. Everything is marked down 15%, so if you've had your eye on anything, now would be a good time to act upon that as I don't often run sales. I've also launched a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Lady of the Dawn Tarot, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that, as well as in the channel section of my page. The format there is a little different from here. I do pick a cards as well as general energy check-ins, but the subject matters that I cover are related to spirituality, wellness, ascension, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support over there, as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Tiger three, you chose the rose quartz along with these cards, which I'll start with. This will be the energy of how they were viewing you then in the past, and this will be the energy of now. Um, so for the energies of then, we have rebirth. Um, so they were viewing you in the past as somebody who may have been in kind of a cocoon phase, sensing that you were needing to do that, sensing that um, there was some kind of a higher calling for you, a different version of yourself that was still waiting to be actualized compared to who um, they were dealing with and interacting with. This is somebody who um, really saw your potential and it feels like um, almost wanted to push you in that direction of discovering yourself stepping into that this feels like somebody who is almost as much as they wouldn't have told you this is like a silent cheerleader kind of energy um, they saw you as somebody who had a lot of endurance a lot of adaptability they may have seen you as somebody who had been through a lot of obstacles and who had come out better rather than worse for wear through your experiences. Um, they saw you as somebody in the past who had a lot of untapped wisdom within yourself, um, something where you almost, um, even just in the words that you said in the conversations that you've had with them, you, you were the keeper of a lot of wisdom. They may have seen you as like a, a conduit for divine energy, some kind of messenger um, of higher level forces, somebody with kind of an important sort of purpose or mission here in this um, lifetime that you were really meant to embark upon, that you needed to discover for yourself. As much as they may have anticipated this, whether or not they had, um, you know, sort of um, 
a full or, or a very detailed vision of what that might have been like, there was almost a sense of you needing to go down some kind of path and journey very independently in order to um, kind of break free from a version of yourself to step more fully into your power that you had the ability to create a lot, that your words were very healing, your presence was very healing, your energy was very healing, um, you know, with this little kind of circle emblem here on the hand in this card. This can see you as, this can talk about someone who saw you as very much blessed by the divine, that you had a lot of blessings, that you were a very grateful person um, who had a lot to be thankful for, that you really had the ability to um, almost make the most out of difficult situations, that you were very optimistic, a very positive person, a very growth-minded individual um, who rather than being limited by challenges sought to kind of overcome, to gain wisdom, um, to become better and stronger. They, they saw you as somebody who was very encouraging for others, um, that you had a very profound effect um, upon them and other people as far as um, helping to kind of break free from some sort of slumber, some sort of patterns, maybe toxicity or wounding that your own personal experience and struggles. Maybe even as you were just kind of in the thick of it, you hadn't really come out the other side. Um, this person almost had this intuitive knowing that um, your story was going to make a big impact upon others, that you had some role as like a counselor or healer, um, helping people to kind of birth themselves out of their own personal darkness and into the light. Um, this is something they really anticipated about you. They saw this within you. Um, they may have really questioned their role in all of this, almost feeling that um, all of this personal power, this very kind of um, unique path that you were walking um, or that you were being invited to walk onto, that there was a questioning where they would really fit into that. Um, this is almost the energy of somebody who was pulling back very gradually from you, um, almost kind of wishing you well and, and watching you go and move forward, but with tears in their eyes. There was a bit of uncertainty, almost like a lack mentality um, within them that was highlighted through all of this potential, all of this kind of truth that they really saw that you were embodying, that you were expressing, maybe very unconsciously, a lot of untapped potential, psychic gifts and abilities as well, that, um, you know, they were really... Uh, not recognizing within themselves that um, it was almost like a call to action that they didn't feel was for them, something where they felt very grateful for your presence but didn't really understand, again, kind of the long-term role um, that they may have had to, to kind of fit in with you. Um, they may have seen this situation in you in the past as kind of like a very limited, something that was just like a like a treasure, something to be enjoyed for a temporary period of time that they may have thought of themselves as just a seasonal person in your life, in your reality, that in some way you were meant for bigger, you were meant for more, um, you deserve more than they had to give at the time, um, which may have caused them to feel almost the potential that they saw within you, this untapped tapped or raw potential that you were in this process of really stepping into it made them feel very small in a way um, that what they had to, to offer and give, what their gifts and abilities were in some way paled in comparison with you. Um, so a bit of almost inadequacy that was really highlighted in the circumstance in the past. Now, as far as the energy of now and how these feelings for you might have changed, um, we have courage. Um, so they see you as somebody who really has opened up. You are standing in your personal power. Um, you are forging your own path. They see see you as somebody very fearless, somebody who has weathered a lot of storms or who has the strength and endurance um, to really kind of take what life throws at you. Um, somebody who goes against the current, somebody who goes against the grain, somebody who is a change maker simply through standing in that authenticity. They see you as holding a lot of personal power. Um, your words, your actions, your efforts have the ability to really change minds, to change the current, to change um, you know, trends. They may see you as somebody who is very innovative, um, somebody who has really, again, tapped into this full potential within self. You've unleashed that, but it's almost like a raw and unbridled power at this point in time. This could really add into this intimidation factor as well, where now that you are standing um, in this kind of 
raw primordial force energy within yourself now they really are uncertain do they have what it takes to kind of ride and weather these um this storm or almost this unpredictability this power and this force of change um that this almost this sense of to be in a dynamic with you to be in a connection with you to be in your life results in inevitable change even just as you two are discussing mundane matters there's something there's a force there's a current which flows through you and touches and affects everything you come into contact with nothing is left unchanged um, in the wake of having experienced you it's a very divine energy it's again this primordial force of creation you are a force to be reckoned with um, to where the intimidation they sensed and kind of felt that caused them to almost distance themselves in the past um, now it's almost like they feel very powerless in your presence it almost is accentuating that sense of inadequacy within themselves um, this energy of kind of these crashing waves here may also speak to that they are very activated by you at this point in time you have not inspired them to take action um, to learn to appreciate and to recognize the unique nature of the gifts they have been endowed with to crack into that potential to not just leave this in the energy of what if but to really um deviate from kind of this quiet trickle that might have been the case of their sort of uh, communication with their higher self with the divine with source energy you've really encouraged and you help them to kind of tap into that in some manner um, you you give them the courage to change the things in their life that they have the ability to change um, that you are somebody who helps to activate that kind of primal creative energy and force and flow within them as well um, something that they almost feel that the two of you together on the other side of whatever personal transformation and sort of personal empowerment may be required of them they see that the two of you have the ability to almost be like this power couple together that you have the ability to really um, change the lives of a lot of people um, that together you're almost stronger or a more um, complementary force than you are apart if they had only really perceived differences in the past also this image of kind of these these rocks and the ocean waves is bringing to mind like the yin yang energy um, that in your fullest potential in your fullest power you very much match and are a good um, kind of companion for these aspects within themselves um you know that that kind of um raw force and flow is a very good complement to a sense of groundedness a stoicism a stability that they present within themselves um, you complement each other very well it's something where they're very intrigued by this they're very curious as far as where you will take this um, the changes that you are making the changes that are then rippling around in the world around you and everything you touch in the lives of the people you come into contact with um, it is giving them the courage to want to seek and explore more within themselves too and to also um, at this point in time they're really seeing that change is possible in the circumstances between you in the past where they had really questioned sort of where they would fit into your life um, the further you sort of got along your own path and particular spiritual journey now they're starting to recognize that there is a place for them um, that as much as you may be like an opposites attract kind of energy there's a very deeply complementary energy here where they're very much compelled back in your direction um, there's an interest in wanting to try to make this work an excitement a curiosity a sense of empowerment with that as well um, so I'm going to get a, a few tarot cards and a few oracle cards to get a little bit deeper into this and then I'll get some um, higher self messages from them okay so as far as the energy of then we have the knight of wands which is fire energy aries leo and sagittarius um so this is really speaking about again this raw untapped potential a lot that was very unbridled a lot that was very chaotic um a fear almost of kind of being in sort of the wake or in the fallout of you tapping into that fullest potential um a sense of that you may have been too impatient moving toward a goal you may have been very chaotic 
this kind of energy of awakening, something um, as far as psychic gifts or spiritual gifts, that it was something that was almost um, kind of in a destructive energy of that force or that flow was how you were operating in the past that they were perceiving you as your um, your road was leading you very quickly far beyond them that it was something they questioned their stamina or their ability to really keep up with you um, to really kind of match you in that sort of speed and velocity with which things were unfolding with which kind of the that path towards your highest good or some goal or destiny was getting ready to unfold um, they saw you as somebody with a lot of potential for success the ability to reach whatever goal you set your mind to but again there's this intimidation factor here um, where they really question kind of what they had to contribute if they would that be that adequate match or um, you know, kind of if they had what it, what it takes to sort of keep up with you in this energy of growth and expansion. And as far as the energy of now goes, we have the Queen of Cups, which is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So they really see that you have come into your own. If you're, if it was kind of a bumpy ride as far as your um, awakening, your rebirth, your your stepping into more of your full potential, you've come into this this energy of self mastery. Um, your psychic gifts are really on point. Um, you're following your own intuition. You're loving yourself. You are that perfect embodiment of love. You are that partner they are seeking. Um, you are that yin to their yang or yang to, yang to their yin, however you um, you know want to categorize that, that you are still this creative force, but it is in some way more measured. Um, you've reached a level of self-mastery and discernment to where um, it's not just this kind of... Um, you know, anything goes sort of like creative energy that's just sort of flung in any direction, but you're very precise, you're very methodical, you're very detail oriented, you're very goal oriented. Um, you are helping yourself and through that process of having helped yourself, you are helping others. You've reached a state of wellness, healing and wholeness of certainty, confidence, trust um, in that internal guidance, in these internal nudges, in kind of your, your emotional and spiritual self. Um, this is an energy where they feel very, very much coaxed towards you, very much safe and comfortable. They see you as a very nurturing energy. Um, almost if, if they still have personal growth left to do, they feel very safe and comfortable to do that with you. They see this connection as something um, that could blossom into um, a very healthy situation, something that has a lot of long-term potential, a lot of endurance. They almost see you as someone they could build a legacy with. Again, that kind of power couple energy here that you complement them in a lot of ways. Um, they see you as somebody who almost tempers out a lot of the extreme aspects within them. You give them perspective and yet you also um, kind of nurture and nourish them in some some way you quench their thirst um, for that adequate match within you help them to realize and actualize a lot of that untapped potential within themselves um, there's a bit of intimidation with this also though as well if we even compare kind of knight to the queen where they are still sort of feeling um, that they might not be necessarily what you're looking for at this stage in your life kind of a questioning still as far as how to make this work sense again of that you know that yin yang energy being very complementary and yet at the same time very opposite um, to where they're wanting to make moves towards you they're wanting to sort of step things up in this situation reintroduce themselves explore and see what the two of you might grow into together um, but a sense of really recognize that you're very fixed on certain goals on priorities on some kind of a calling a call you have answered a calling you have recognized um, some kind of like soul purpose or mission you're very much in alignment with that um, it is your main focus it is your main priority and so this has really caused them um, almost like reason to to stop and sort of think and to question how do they get your attention what do they have to bring to the table what may have might have sufficed in the past is no longer what you are focused on or interested in your priorities have changed your priorities have shifted you're very discerning you're self-protective and self-aware at this point in time you've really come into your own you've matured in a major your way and so it is um inspiring them to change and mature and grow as well so that they have something of note to bring you in the future in this situation so let me get a few oracle cards to dig a little bit deeper into this
Okay, so for the energy of then, we have mice. Um, and so this is really tying into um, that you were kind of in this small beginning um, you were very uncertain. You were almost very, um, you know, kind of this novice energy, sort of like um, scurrying around, sort of not really sure what direction you were heading, maybe a little bit um, without direction in general, um, you know, just kind of taking in a lot, all of these little crumbs and these clues that you were being divinely led in a particular direction. Um, and at one point in time in the past, they felt that um, the two of you were very much on the same page with that, um, that there was very, um, little that was left to be desired in the situation, that kind of where things were at, at that just kind of base level of what they were able to provide in the past, that that was kind of nourishing. You might have been somebody who sort of settled for breadcrumbs. You were playing small with your life. You didn't see the potential that they saw. Um, you were content to just accept very little when you could have really um, expected and, and created and received so much more. A way in a way they saw that you were almost playing small with your life or again this untapped potential something that was getting ready to hatch or germinate within you um, but that you were still in this in this energy of being very kind of quiet you hadn't stepped into that full voice you hadn't activated to that full kind of primordial creative force within yourself um, so it's something that almost um, they felt the need to kind of be very secretive about what they saw um, within and about you making little in you windows perhaps wanting not to give away too much too quickly um, almost feeling that they needed to kind of walk on eggshell eggshells or tippy toes around you in order to still be part of your life um, in the hopes that they could just sort of glean what they could out of you while they could because they saw that you were headed for um, for different things for better things and in time you would outgrow them um, or that you were getting ready to kind of change or metamorphosize um, into more of that energy of confidence and courage, um, into more of that uh, personal power that was kind of being cracked forth from within yourself. And as far as the energy of now, we have Clover. Um, so this green, this heart chakra energy ties in with this Queen of Cups. They see you as living very much in alignment with your heart space. You may have had some kind of a, a heart chakra awakening. They see you living in accordance with your personal power. Um, more than just sheer luck, it feels that you are very much in concert with the divine. Other people may see you as lucky, but it feels like this person sees beyond all of that and recognizes um, that you are somebody who listens to that intuition. You listen to that higher guidance. Your relationship with spirit is so intricate that you um, you ask and therefore you receive. You pay attention to those little clues and nudges. You continue to kind of follow those breadcrumbs that the universe gives you um, to where you are able to really seize and anticipate opportunities. Know when to act. Know when to remain silent and to just wait. They see you in a very abundant period in your life. And as far as when they um, sort of contemplate the connection, what might be possible for you in the future, how they're views of you have changed. Um, they feel very lucky to have met you. They feel almost that their life would be enhanced to link up with you that anything that may have been a struggle, not even in an opportunistic way, but almost like the strengths and the deficits of one another play off each other very well. You're better together than apart. Um, they almost are reflecting on times they've spent with you in the past, that those were some of the, the brightest days of their life, no matter how small, um, you know, isolated incidents of time spent together, they're reflecting a lot upon that and wanting to um, kind of return to that place of the heart um, they almost feel that it would be they would be very lucky or that it's almost left up to chance at this point in time if you would even consider them again or if you would consider what they have to offer. They may still be operating in this energy of like mice mode um, or mouse mode rather where they're trying to just kind of tiptoe around. They're still not really stepping into their fullest potential, but in some way your change, your courage, whatever it is you are doing, ways in which you're standing in that authenticity, um, vibrationally, whatever it is you're doing in the material world, maybe things you're doing for work or um, you know just something that you do as kind of a, um, a hobby or an interest as far as spirituality or, or wellness or ascension, anything like that. Um, it's having an effect upon this person 
as well. What they are seeing, what they are observing from you, and what they're picking up energetically that you're causing, you're instigating some kind of heart chakra opening within them to actualize this fullest potential, to not just rely on luck or chance, but to take measured action, to take steps, to have the courage to forge their own trail, to follow that calling of their heart rather than kind of um, people pleasing or um, you know sort of playing it small lingering in that energy of not really feeling good enough you're encouraging this person to recognize their own unique gifts their own kind of unique calling um, their own sort of purpose that is really wanting to be actualized in this world in this lifetime and through the very unique vessel that is them that might be very different from you it may be a different series of gifts it may be a different um, kind of life path or goal that they are working toward on the horizon um, but you're helping them to really understand and recognize the beauty and um, kind of the value in their own sort of unique makeup and what is really meant for them their own kind of particular destiny um, where as you are that inspiration to them they are also seeing that um, again you both are to better together than you are apart so there's this desire to almost um, improve in some way move into more of that heart-centered awareness within themselves so that they have something measurable to bring to you um, a hope that they have that luck can be on your side that your paths can cross again or that they kind of summon this courage to come towards you with this declaration of the heart that they may have held back in the past um, or may have kind of just withdrawn or, or distanced themselves with um, due to kind of this ability to sort of sense a potential another horizon that you are moving toward there really being called into this place of um, you know reaching out towards you moving forward towards you entering more into the realm of love with you rather than just kind of hiding in the shadows and sort of scurrying around and, and feeling very inadequate in comparison to you so I'm gonna get some messages from their higher self and see what does this person want to tell you right now So we have twin flames. So this card came up in group two. If you felt inclined to watch that group, there may be additional messages there for you. Um, but this is really that confirmation of that yin yang energy um, that you and this person may be very different and yet the changes that you make the growth that you endeavor the path that you are walking it in some way inspires this person to kind of get in alignment with the activation of that highest potential um, a spiritual awakening may have been instigated within each of you in this connection um, if this person was kind of running from that doubting that sort of um, withdrawing from that that, it feels that they are definitely taking notice of the situation in a different manner they are seeing you standing in your fullest potential actively working toward that healing your heart focusing on self-love and, and and on service service to self and service to others and this is really um, inspiring them in some way to make changes that are necessary within them to come into alignment with a higher calling with kind of a, a greater purpose and plan for their life in this incarnation um, and this desire that they have to again come back towards you a sense that the two of you are better together um, this power couple energy uh, that is very strongly drawing them back in your direction and encouraging them to make the changes that they need to in order to be able to bring something forth to you that they feel um, will be adequate or will be well received by you or is very complementary to where you are at in your life right now and in your energy. They also say there is so much I want to tell you. Um, so this person may have really held back in the past as far as um, the deep truth, the feelings that they have, the sense of soul recognition that they had for you. It feels like very much from the start. Um, they were very compelled, very activated, very awakened by you, but may have run from that. Um, a lot has changed in the time since you have maybe been apart. Um, as you have grown and evolved, they have also been going through their own process of growing and evolving. Um, this can be 
long-held love that they have for you or words that were never spoken that they are really wanting to bring forth. Um, a desire to congratulate you, to tell you just how proud they are of you, how they always saw this potential in you and that they are so happy that you have realized that within yourself and you have taken steps to bring that forth from where it was dormant or unactualized within you. They also say you deserve better than me. So that is that energy of the mice right there where they are still dealing with a little bit of these fears of inadequacy, feelings of being very insufficient, um, questioning the compatibility of the two of you. Where do they fit into your world now that you have kind of um, had this glow up as you have sort of participated with your own spiritual journey and awakening process? They're almost feeling that you are many steps ahead of them and they're questioning um, how quickly they can move back towards you. If they have what it takes, if what might have resonated between the two of you in the past or what might have really drawn you to each other in the past if this is still enough if that um, these embers of, of love and affection can be reignited if it's still enough to kind of bond the two of you together um, to grow into something new and different kind of the next um, manifestation of what you can be together in this lifetime in the future and they also say, I still have growing to do. So again, another acknowledgement that they may be um, on a little different place in their personal path than you are. It's it's the idea almost though of parallel paths, um, that it's a unique journey for each of you with a lot of conjoined themes, um, this idea of tapping into that personal power, stepping into that, recognizing, owning that, um, owning that authenticity and that voice. Um, a lot of kind of issues with imposter syndrome or sort of a fear of what will people think? Um, what does this mean? How to really translate this? Questioning kind of those psychic abilities, those intuitive abilities, that that conversation with source and spirit, which happens in a variety of, of unique um, and ever-present ways that this person is still kind of in their process of um, moving through of understanding that although their path may be very different from yours, it is at the same time very complementary, that it won't look exactly the same for each of you, but in some manner, kind of the, the joining of your energies serves a greater purpose. You can be that stability and that um, nourishment for each other from that very that varied perspective, like the idea on that imagery in this card, the courage card of kind of the ocean waves crashing against the rocks and the seashore, um, that they are starting to recognize how kind of uh, the deficits within them are complemented by your strengths and vice versa. Um, but it's still taking some time for them to move beyond um, perceptions of limitation within themselves in order to kind of harness that raw potential within to be able to bring forth to you all of who they are in their most authentic self and trusting that um, you know it will be received in the way and manner in which it is meant to. So I'm going to close this out with um, one of these Mother Mary cards for some guidance about the situation and then I'll get some initials. Okay, so this is the artwork on the card. And the message is Our Lady of Sacred Union. Conflict can be motivating or it can be exhausting if it has been continuing for too long without relief. Make space in your heart for the way beyond current inner conflicts to be revealed. There is, an there is always another way no matter how set in stone your situation may appear to be. Our Lady's hand is guiding you along the path, out of conflict and into a new and joyful harmony. So this is a really beautiful message that ties in with that idea of twin flame. If you are in separation from someone, this idea of the sacred union, this is becoming that yin to one's own yang as kind of a prelude to what is possible between the two of you further down the road um, in the material plane. You are walking separate paths at this point for a reason and your task is to really seek and, and kind of move beyond any barriers and obstacles that exist between each of you to embodying that fullest potential of love that you hold inside. When you become that love you are seeking, you are able to magnetize in its complement in a more um, precise and accurate manner. 
So the guidance with this is to just continue along that path of trust, that even if the road may be pulling the two of you further apart, trusting in your own unique journey, and that at the time and manner that you are meant to, if that is what is intended for each of you in this lifetime, and of course, according to each of your free will, if this is what you choose to engage in with together in the future, with each other together in the future, trusting that um, you will make your way back towards each other, keep growing, keep keep stepping into more of that personal glow of who you are, more in that authenticity. That beacon that you are shining out is received by this person. You are already in union with each other in the higher realms. They hear that call. They hear your soul. They are very much aware of this. Your change reverberates to them and encourages their personal growth and change trusting in the process and what is unfolding between the two of you and trusting as well that they will take the steps they are guided to and that they need to to rise and meet you at your vibration your task at this point in time is to continue um, moving along that path and closer into that alignment um, of your purpose here in this lifetime beyond this situation with this individual that you are meant for so much more than um, you know just a twin flame union with somebody that this is, you know, an activation, this is an awareness, this is an awakening that has taken place for reasons that go beyond just romantic partnership, finding that, seeking that, cultivating that, um, embodying that, owning that within yourself is the fulfillment of um, one of the aspects of kind of this, the purpose of this journey and this experience. And when you do that, when you are in alignment with your component of the equation, you represent that point on the horizon that your counterpart in their own way and in their own time is then able to um, come into alignment with and intersect with in the future. So I'm going to get some initials and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or this person or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got V, P, F, Y, X, N, E, M, H, and K. So those are your messages, group three. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. I'm also running a sale in my Etsy shop now through the end of the month of February. Everything's marked down 15%, so if you've had your eye on anything, now would be a good time to act upon that as I don't often run sales. I've also launched a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Lady of the Dawn Tarot, and there's a link in the description box as well as, as in the channel section of my page for that. The format there is a little different from here. I do pick a cards as well as general energy check-ins, but the subject matters that I cover are related to spirituality, wellness, ascension, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out, and I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.